So the next question, how to help my mom emotionally when she moves in with me, which is happening soon. Allow her space. Give her still her own independence and her own dignity. So not sure. I don't have a lot of information as to why she's moving in, be it financial, physical, what's going on in the situation, but she's moving out of her home. She's giving up her independence and she's moving in with you. Don't treat her like a child. Big important thing. And it's really hard for us kids to not treat our, our parents that need our help as, as children. It's not, it's super hard not to see them that way. Don't do that. Don't, don't change the roles. But at the same time, understand that she's your mom and she's going to try to mother you in your home. And that's where you're going to have the problem, probably more than she is. And that's where you're going to want to rise up and assert your own independence and your own position of authority. It's your home. Mom's now a guest in your home. You're no longer the person in your mom's home. And so it changes the entire dynamics of the relationship. And I think probably the most important thing to do is to sit down and talk to mom first and, and understand that that's going to be a point of potential conflict between the two of you. Because the minute your mom comes in your house and starts telling you, well, you've got too many decorations and you've got too much of this and you've got, and, and the kids need to be sitting at the table when they're eating. You shouldn't let them be up and running around and you shouldn't be this. And you, now you have reason for tension and conflict instead of this is going to work out and be really good. There has to be some pre-conversation that's, hey mom, we can make this work. I understand that I'm not going to do everything the way you did it because we don't. We, we, we do some things like our parents, but we don't do everything like them. And, and it's okay that I do it differently. And you're going to have your space over here and I'm going to do my best to to respect your space and I'm going to do my best to let you do things your way but especially if there's small kids in the house still you have to set some ground rules that grandma can't come in and try and over parent you because that is that is definitely headed for disaster right there but I think really the best thing you can do is keep the line of communication open and talk to one another and be real about what could happen and then when it does happen, don't let it just fester like an old sore, kicking it under the rug until there's a big pile of dirt under the rug and you're tripping over it. I think you need to examine everything that comes across and start talking about it immediately so you don't have those explosions and those big blow ups.